Welcome to the Philips Laser System Nexamer Product Training and System Workflow Module. By the end of this module, you should be able to articulate the steps to set up, calibrate and power down the Philips Laser System Nexamer, demonstrate an understanding of the procedure screen and buttonology, and explain the procedure for managing error codes. To set up, first position the system in the desired location. The front wheels can be unlocked to allow lateral movement for final positioning. Rear wheels should be locked to avoid any movement of the unit once in position. Remove the foot switch and its lead from the storage location at the rear of the system. To connect the foot switch, align the red dot on the plug with the red dot on the socket. There is a socket for a foot switch on both the front and the rear of the system but only one foot switch can be connected at a time. You are now ready to plug in the system. Connect the power cord into the socket on the rear of the system. Insert the other end of the power cord into an appropriate socket. The laser system should be the only system plugged into the socket. Using a lower capacity dedicated circuit may trigger the system circuit breaker. Ensure the power cord is fully seated. Do not use extension cords. The 15-foot cord that is included with the system should be usable in multiple sockets in a lab. An extension cord may not supply the expected amount of power to the system. Insert the key into the key switch on the rear panel. Turn the key switch clockwise to activate the system. When the system is activated, it enters initialization mode. Inspect the energy detector. If it is dirty, clean the surface of the energy detector with an alcohol prep before and after each use. When initialization completes, the system will present the Connect Catheter Screen prompt. It will take less than 30 seconds for this screen to appear after the system is powered on. Insert the desired catheter for the procedure. Use the provided catheter retaining feature to hold the catheter away from the detector during calibration. This will provide more clearance from the sterile area. To calibrate the catheter, select the Calibrate button on the screen. Once the Calibrate button is pressed, the system enters ready mode. The system will laze only when the foot switch is pressed while in ready mode. To enter standby mode, press Set to Standby. This will disable the foot switch. To continue, press Set to Ready to continue with calibration. Wear safety glasses with an OD rating of 5 or greater while laser is in use, including while calibrating the catheter. Point the distal tip of the fiber optic catheter directly at the center of the energy detector. Ensure the catheter placement is no less than 1 inch or 2.5 centimeters and no more than 2 inches or 5 centimeters away from the front surface. The end of the catheter will illuminate with a red light to aid in aiming the catheter. Depress the foot switch until calibration is complete. This will take approximately 5 seconds. The system may not pass calibration if the catheter is not perpendicular to and at the proper distance from the detector surface during calibration. While calibrating, the system will display its progress. The circular progress bar will fill as calibration progresses. Energy readings will be displayed during the process. Once calibration is complete, the system will display the calibration complete screen. The calibration energy is displayed to compare the calibration energy reading with the energy range for the fiber optic catheter selected. See catheter package for appropriate ranges. The system will auto-advance to the procedure screen in 5 seconds. This may be bypassed by pressing Start Procedure button. Pressing the Set to Ready button places the system in ready mode. If the system has not been calibrated, the system cannot enter the procedure screen. Fluence and rate settings are adjustable based on procedural need and physician's discretion. To adjust settings during the procedure, please use the interface of the procedure screen. The Rate button adjusts the pulse repetition rate in increments of 5. 
The repetition rate is visible in the display window. The Fluence button adjusts the output energy in increments of 5. The current Fluence value is visible in the display window. While in ready mode, the foot switch will be active. Once the catheter is in the desired location, depress the foot switch to activate the laser. If using a coronary or lead removal fiber catheter, there will be timeouts once you activate the laser. The system will provide a visual display of the remaining time left in the timeout. Once the timeout is complete, the system will provide audible feedback to notify the user. On the touchscreen, you have a running total for pulse and time. The pulse display shows the total number of pulses during a procedure. The time display indicates the total lasing time of the procedure. There is also a reset button to reset the pulse and time displays. There are color-coded screen advisories, indicators, and status information for ease of use. Yellow when in ready mode, green when in standby mode, and red when the system is lasing. The screen brightness can be adjusted to one of three preset brightness levels. The settings menu provides information about the system, allows the user to change language, and turns on the read energy function. To power down the system, press the standby button and turn the key switch to the off position. Disconnect the power cord from the wall receptacle and store it on the cable management wraps at the rear of the system. Then disconnect and store the foot switch at the rear of the system. Close the catheter connector door and clean the detector face with alcohol prep. When not in use, remove the key to protect the system from unauthorized use. Return the system to your storage location and lock the rear wheels. The laser system has helpful reminders, alerts, and error codes that provide actionable solutions. To ensure your system stays up to date, there are routine system maintenance reminders that will appear when maintenance is needed. Alerts provide guidance to the user during workflow if an action is needed. When prompted by an alert, follow the instructions that are displayed. When the system detects a fault, a code number appears in the middle of the display window corresponding to the appropriate error. Refer to the troubleshooting section of the user manual and always record the fault code number in your report to Philips Customer Service. The Philips Laser System Neximer is compatible with a variety of laser catheters across specialties for a broad range of use. Treat more complex cases faster.